Hi, I'm going to do a demo of uh, Emacs for Emacs XAR Find package. Now this this is a package uh, that's like grep uh, but without calling the Unix grep so you don't need it and, um, and uh, if you are on Windows it's very useful because you don't have to install any uh, grep utility. So, so this package you can you can uh, this is a website uh, let me go to um, here uh, emacs xafine.el that's the package name uh, let's see so that's a github uh, page and uh, th this package provides you these five commands xafine text xafine text rejects Xafine count, Xafine replace reject, uh, replace text, Xafine replace text rejects. So basically, you have a uh, version for find finding text, and you have a version for replace te text. And each one, you have uh, a plain text version and a regular expression version. You have different versions because um, sometimes when you just want to find uh, plain text it's convenient to use just the plain text version instead of the using regular expression and turn it off because sometimes you forgot or you have to quote lots of things so it, it's pretty simple just these five commands so let me do a demo so it's it, let me do a quick demo so um, go to my home home page it looks like that so so let's see so I've I have prepared here uh, the Emacs Lisp manual here, you see that's uh, that's about one thousand pages. Emacs Lisp manual and uh, Emacs manual, that's all, that's seven hundred, eight hundred pages. So together they are about eighteen hundred pages. Uh, okay, so let's just do some f find. Let's say I want to find all text containing. Um, let's see something something okay imaginary so I want to find all, all text uh, uh, okay Let me, we're gonna do this again so here here are the results so, so let's let's do it again so I have a key for that so uh, okay let's just call XA find text Okay, so I find text, and I want to find the word imaginary. Okay, enter, and it's asking your directory. Enter, and uh, this is a regular expression for the file name. It's going to match. Um, actually, it's it's going to match the whole file path. So if you want to just search for um, all uh, files whose name ends in .html and just use this. So let's do that, uh, and he, here's the result. After you get the result page, you can use uh, up arrow to go go to occurrences, or down arrow to go next one. And if you use the, um, okay, I'm sorry, this is the left arrow going up, right arrow to go next occurrence, and uh, up arrow is to go the uh, previous file down arrow is next file so so let's if your cursor is on, on one of the occurrence you can just press enter and it'll it'll move to the page uh, the 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 position where the text occurred in, in this case it's this page so let's view in browser so that's that's uh, this page so okay so so this is um, and on on top it make uh, creates a report on the date this program this is called um, the command it's called directory path um, and so on so so this is very convenient especially when I'm uh, for code uh, for especially for programming languages because it can reasonably work up to 5,000 files uh, in, in, in few seconds you can quickly search stuff so let, let's try another example let's see 
So Kassav find and uh, Kassav find rejects uh, find count. Find count just reports. Uh, you can let's try it. So let's say I want to find okay Kassav find count. Okay, let's say I want to find the ima the word imaginary, and it's going to ask you greater than how many times, so greater or equal to or equal to not equal to. So I want to find all files that has more than one occurrence. So let's say so it's greater than greater than one. Uh, okay, that directory and that suffix. Okay, so I found four files that that contains two occurrences of the word imaginary in 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 the list directories okay that's find count and let's try an example of find replace text rejects yeah let's let's try that uh this one let's see what we want to do okay let's say Okay, let, let's try that. So let's say we have something like that. Let's open a new buffer, paste that. We want to find anything, any any HR, uh, uh, HRF link that is a email. And uh, okay, let, let's just try that. Anything that's an email. So here we, uh, we want to do. So this means any RH, uh, HR, href that begin with mail to and then just anything anything that's not the uh, double quote until it reaches double quote so this is the regular expression we want to use so let's try that uh, you know I'm, I'm, cre I'm using this buffer just to type this regular expression it's easier than if I type it in the mini buffer so anyway so copy that Go back to the file. So now I want just uh, call xa find replace text regular expression. Yes, that's the one. Find rejects. So this is the rejects we want. And uh, okay. Well, we we could have just tried to find, but now since we are doing a replace. Uh, let's let's say so let's we let's say we want to replace it by send to you know that that's not a valid protocol let, but let's just try that so remove that so instead of mail to and followed by email address we use send to and uh, one means means the captured text which which in, in our case is an email so let's do that so this directory, yes, uh, or HTML files, yes, right change to files, yes, fix case, yes, fix case in replacement, yes, show context before after output, oh, okay, make backup, yes, it's it's asking about five questions, uh, okay, so so here we have it, so here's all the results. Let's go to lots of results. Okay, so let's go to the top. Let's see. Okay, it's all GNU. So is there anything not other than GNU? So so what just happened is that it's it replaced this one. All the all the occurrences are highlighted in yellow, and all the replacement are highlighted in green. So that means in this file, if you go to the file. Uh, let's split and go to the file. So, okay, we we want to jump to the occurrence actually. So let's press that. Go there. So so there it is. You see, so it's it's sent to bug new um, bug new emacs gnu dot org. So it's done. And if you look at the directory refresh, you can see it's it made all these backup files. Um, in case you made a mistake, it made all these backup files. 
Okay, now let's go back here. But one one thing interesting is that does it um, does the e Emac list menu actually contain email other than this? So we can try to find out. Uh, we do that by select the whole thing and uh, replace it. Just query replace, uh, replace it by uh, space. So yes, 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 replace all. Uh, okay, so, and, and so after we replace them all of them, then we try uh, to press the right arrow key to go to the next occurrence, and apparently there is none. So that means that also tells us that um, there is no all the emails in the Emacs list list manual um, email link is actually just uh, GNU Emacs. That, that's um, <laughs> that's interesting. Okay, that's th that's it for this video. I think. Um, is there anything else? Yeah. So 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 this is um, okay. So why why not just use grab or set? Well, actually, that there are good reasons because, for example, let's go to my Emac Emacs blog. You know, um. I work on website a lot, so I have like thousands of pages, like thousands of pages. Uh, remove those, and uh, so for example, so I do find replace like about every two, every three days on on a thousand or a few hundred pages, or, or up to five thousand pages. Every every three days, I've been doing this for ten years, and uh, there are so many ways to do that in Emacs, but Eventually, this is what I found to be the most convenient. So I, I created a package for it. So so why not use set or why not use grep? There, there are a few problems. For example, let, let's see. Let's say why not use grep? Okay, so let me go to a Unicode page on my website. So this is my Unicode page. Um, uh, for example, so 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 there are so many Unicode here, and I want to find, for example. I want this, so this is a rabbit. Uh, let's, let me show you. So you you see we uh, we have a rabbit head here. I want to know if I already covered that uh, the rabbit head in, in in one of these or maybe I missed it. So I want to um, so I can use. Okay, let me return the font to normal. So I want to, I just call saw find. So find count that, that yeah that's useful there. So it's already by default it's already rabbit because it's uh, been selected. It used the selection as default. So yes, rabbit. Um, let's see. Greater than less than. What I want to do is equal. Okay, let's say not equals to one. Well, um, not equals to zero. So I want all to find all pages that has at least one um, occurrence. So this directory, yes, yes. Oh, so it actually showed a few pages that contains that uh, rabbit head character. So let's go to uh, one of them, Unicode and animals. Okay, yeah, it makes sense in all these files. Unicode eight. Uh, so what? Why is it in Unicode eight and also Unicode seven? So let's look. So open that file. So this is Unicode eight characters, and oh, I know why. So, so anyway, go to Unicode seven. Well, what what happened is that let, let's copy the rabbit head. So copy that, go here, find it. And uh, where is it? Oh, here, here, here is the rabbit, right here. So you see, I'm because I'm using it uh, in a link. That that's why that's why it, the rabbit uh, um, occurs on this page, and it also occurs on um, close. Also occur on this page. Yeah. Search. 
yeah so you see that that link okay so so that's the um, find okay so we were talking about why not using uh, grep so you see grep grep usually have problems with unicode so let's try that so I mean e shell now I have this um, grep shortcut let's paste the rabbit in this case it will work actually um, but some other case it won't uh, okay why is that so many okay uh, the reason it's not okay so let, let's let's go to the um, no, we don't need that okay let's go to the uh, I, I, I actually I gave the reasons why not using grep because well basically the reason is that when you use grep there are bugs in the unix grep command um, let's see exactly grep um, Emacs, Emacs, why not grep? So if you rely on grep, it's, it's gonna have lots of problems. Um, yeah, there it is. So so in this page, I actually give you all the detailed um, problems of using grep. E external program problem, you have to install it. Un Unix shell called escape problem, right? So for example in my page let's say this is uh, I work with the uh, web web HTML a lot so I want to find uh, this is a Google Google uh, analytic tracker basically so I want to find all pages that miss that's missing this um, this 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 text so if you want to use grep um, it's going to be problematic to quote it you know it's it's gonna be a head headache B but you can put in in a file like uh, create a new file and save it and uh, modify the grep so that so that it uses the file as the uh, regular expression input but you know that's not convenient so so there are problems like these um, you a, a unix quote escape problem uh, then you have dependence on familiar, uh, famil familiarity of Unix shell syntax because you have grep, you have uh, egrep, you have Perl grep. They the options are different depending on if you are on uh, GNU, uh, Linux, GNU, Emacs, uh, GNU utilities or BSD uh, util utilities. So they are all different options. Uh, and it's and the the, the Unix Unix grep is not uh, Emacs grep, so that that's that's kind of also a uh, problem because when 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 you work in Emacs, um, close that close that. Uh, when when you work in Emacs, usually, for example, query replace, um, you know, query replace, you are used to the way Emacs regular expression works and it's different from the Unix regular expression uh, and Unicode stream problem yes and and especially if you have lots of Unicode uh, you're gonna have problems because when you when you call grep Emacs has to call an external command and uh, in, in the process Emacs ha has to um, encode your characters into um, into into the shell. Um, yeah. So anyway, I I I document uh, I documented these problems, uh, long stream problem, and and uh, okay. So what about said? What is the problem with 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 uh, said? You know, it, it's already there. It's so convenient. Well, the problem with set is that usually it's line oriented. For so so, uh, for example, I want to replace all of these by by uh, change a number here. You know, let's say Google says my ID changed, so I need to change the ID globally. And and this block of text contain line endings, and set doesn't work well with that you know you have to 
uh, it's just not very convenient like you have to use lots of uh, things like that then the quote doesn't work single quote or double quote uh, things like that so anyway so that that's the um, th that's it for the <laughs> the package uh, let's see where, where is it so yeah so I, uh, I I hope you like it thank you